what exactly is the crime of theft of property in the third degree in Alabama? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell a story. And I'm going to tell a story about a friend of ours. We're going to call him Scott Free. You'll understand a little bit. But before you get to that, let me explain a little bit about the law. According to Alabama law, theft of property in the third degree occurs if somebody steals something with a value of either $500 or more or less than $1,499. Now, there's a more serious crime. As a matter of fact, there's several, but the more, next most serious crime is theft of property in the second degree. And that occurs if somebody steals something with a value of at least $1,500 and a maximum value of $2,500. Now, let's pr pretend that our friend Scott Free is charged with theft in the second. Not the third, but in the second. And he hires a lawyer. His lawyer is a well-known lawyer in Alabama, one of, uh, um, one of those of us who do criminal defense, one of our favorite lawyers. His name is Lou Pohl. So he hires Lou Pohl, and uh, he decides to go to trial. At trial, the state of Alabama is represented by fearless, prosecutor whose name happens to be Izzy Hapless. And at trial, the evidence comes out, and the evidence is that Scott did steal. But the value that he stole was exactly $1,499.99. Well, Izzy Hapless, the prosecutor, recognizes, I got a problem. And so he goes in front of the judge, and he says, Judge, you know, I know I didn't prove the theft second, but it's it's too little for that. We're going to amend the charge and we're going to go forward with the charge as theft third degree. His lawyer says, wait a second, Lou Pohl has a great argument. Lou says, hold on, and he argues to the judge. And the judge agrees and our friend Scott Free is acquitted and goes Scott Free. Well, what did Lou argue? What's the problem here? But his lawyer recognized there was a big old hole in the law. Here's the problem. To be guilty of theft third degree, the crime has to be no more than 1,499 between 500 and 1,499. But theft second, it has to be 1,500. How much was his crime? What did they prove? $1,499.99. And his lawyer, loophole, recognized that there's a hole in the law. He argued that what our client, Mr. Free, was charged with wasn't actually a crime that was recognized by Alabama law because, as I said, there's a hole in the law. So let's talk about a different story here. At this time, we have a, a woman, and her name is uh, Mina N. Fraction. Mina N. Fraction is charged with theft, and she's also charged with theft second. What did she do? She stole a credit card. Unfortunately for Mina, the credit card was expired. It had no value at all. Now, Mina goes and sees her, her lawyer, named Mal. Mal Practice is the name of this lawyer. And he says to her, he says, well, wait, you can't, you can't be convicted for stealing something with no value. Let's go to trial. So Mina goes to trial and she is shocked because she gets convicted. She goes in front of the judge. It's time for sentencing. By, by the way, the judge's name is Celia, Celia Fate. Judge Fate says to her, wait a second, let me explain the law to you. And the judge correctly explains the law, which is that there's more than one way that theft of property in the third degree can occur. One of the ways is if you steal a credit or debit card, regardless of value. So even if it has absolutely zero value, even if it had a negative balance, it's still the crime of theft of property in the third degree. Well, City of Fate, true to her name, sentences Mina Infraction. And what she tells her is, well, the range of punishment for this is a year and a day to five years in prison. And she sentences her to five years in prison. She also says the maximum fine on this is $7,500. And she gives Mina the maximum fine, which, by the way, is not fine with Mina, but that's a, a different story. The main point here, of course, is that the law can be tricky. If you're charged with a crime, you owe it to yourself to get the best lawyer you can. Of course, if you're charged with something here in North Alabama and you want our help, just give us a call here at Siegel & Siegel. Our phone number's below. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you liked it, if you give us the thumbs up, thanks again.